It's the mindset Free your mind Free your mind Mindset Free your mind Free your mind Hey, not everything that glitter is gold Not everything that's white is snow On the mindset I just start let them know Let them know, let them know Oh, words from the wise I just star, we will never lie Stand tall, we will never die We'll forever shine I just star, shine like the star in the sky Some hate, some love Blessed love, pleasant, good afternoon, good evening Warm welcome, Mindset Program I just star, I'm your host And I want to greet the item In the divine name of his imperial majesty Emperor Il Selassie I, the first Empress Menin the first one welcoming those beautiful and divine name yes I one more day above ground and I want to say you know give thanks and praise for life Holy Emmanuel I Selassie I Ja Rastafari yes at a celebration honorable family the 91st anniversary of the coronation of his imperial majesty Il Selassie I the first and Empress Menin the first the second of November yeah man and we give thanks we give thanks because it is a standard and an example that I've set over 91 years now Zin. so no one can say they haven't seen the standard that I've set a man and woman joined together seen as North would say in holy matrimony right a man crowned with him empress at the same time a king crowned with him empress at the same time a god crowned with his goddess at the same time to show the example of a balance in earth where man and woman is concerned. And we give thanks, you know what I mean, for all our brothers and our sisters, Zin, worldwide. You know, peace and love. And, you know, we are going to go through a few things today. Um, we are going to read um, the speech of the 37th coronation anniversary of his imperial majesty. I know many of the item probably hear this before and some probably haven't seen. So, let's um, make we go in at it. Zin, just hold tight. Whatever the item I do, just go and full joy the celebration, manners and respect. The standard of living enjoyed in the highly developed nation of the world was not achieved overnight, nor was it one without immense toil and sacrifice. Economics and social growth is a labor and a, low and a slow process. Development is the accumulated result of intensive long-term efforts. It is not enough that a nation desire development and economic maturity any more than a child in wishing to become a man or a woman. Time is required and experience, and trial, and error. The process and requirement of nurture cannot be ignored or evade. The child must first crawl, then walk before it can run. So also must a nation progress through the successive stages of growth before the stage of reach where repaid and ever accelerating development is possible. 
the advancement of a nation in addition demands certain essential pro-condition or pre-conditions, political stability, coherent, rational, and efficient structures of government, and peace both internally within the nation and external with our neighbors. Happily, Ethiopia has been blessed with these during the past two and a half decades, and they have been progressively strengthened over the years. In 1955, we promulgated our revised constitution to reflect and to secure the advance in the political maturity achieved since we granted Ethiopia first written constitution within 25 years earlier. Only the enlightened, only the, only the 18, only 18 months ago, we announced new and far-reaching political reform as the accumulation of a period of development, a mature nation of the polit political awareness, capacity of the Ethiopian people and government, and as the prelude to further growth along these lines, the precious gift of peace has been ours for the past quarter century. For all of this, we give thanks to the Almighty God. 4th of November, 1967. A speech from His Majesty, Emperor El Selassie the first, yes, the Emperor of Ethiopia. Peace, and we see a lot of things that is happening in Ethiopia right now, but that won't stop the celebration. The celebration must go on. Yeah, the celebration must go on. So as we're looking at the coronation, I give thanks for November 2nd, 1930, as a constant reminder of the greatness and liberty of Emperor El Selassie I, the first. Negus Makanen, a man who fight or fought all odds to claim a seat of power that he know was destined to be his, no matter the social accepted order of succession. The throne of Ethiopia was not just handed to him because he was there or here. It was an honor bestowed upon him because of his tenacity and wise mind to do what was necessary to endure and to ensure it would become his. That, that is the first lesson I and I can learn about the coronation, that we must fight for what we know in our hearts to be our destiny. I and I must know what our individual calling in life is so that we can perform all necessary steps to fulfill that purpose. Our work must also be considerated to others, bring goodness to them, uplift their lives. The emperor didn't just gain a crown for himself, but for his people that he could do what was right and necessary to ensure that their life improved and that they were protected. This was his purpose. This was the fulfillment of his upbringing as a noble youth. 
son of a diplomat and a leader of an army. The second lesson we can learn, my people, I and I can learn from the coronation is to stand tall in the presence of our enemy, to treat our enemies with respect and to show them our worth even if they will not like it. The emperor was crowned in front of 12 nations or 72 nations from around the world, namely Europe. It was well aware of the racist attitude they had towards his imperial majesty, Haile Selassie, especially Great Britain, rule under King George V, but that did not differ. Ascended a throne more ancient than theirs, in a country more powerful than theirs. Even if a few days, he forced them to respect the African nation in the independence which was a thing most hated by the Europeans. I and I must learn to shine even when others cast net of darkness. I and I must see, yeah, I and I must see competition as a tool to strengthen ourselves for success. Kaul padat taught ena. I and I must use adversaries to better our self, our condition. Yeah, man. The third lesson is the importance of unity between husband and wife. This is very important. Kings and queen, the empress, Menin Asura, was joined to her husband, the emperor. And that day, 86 years ago, 91 years ago, this was the first time in Ethiopian history that an empress consort share the coronation ceremony of an emperor. Empress Menin anointment as a queen was granted by the Ethiopian to the Orthodox Church. The request of her husband she took a vow to serve her nation, to be a guide and help unto the realm and her king. She did not merely gain a crown and high position that would move her into the most, would move her into a place of an emperor, Melanic II but to talk an advance announcement responsibility to share the emperor's works. There must be balance and equality. All aspects of a marriage, a wife is not there just to adorn or husband. She is there to uplift and to improve him as, she, as he handle all the responsibilities and burden that come with is better when there is... Let me just repeat that. A wife is not there just to adorn her husband. She is there to uplift and to improve as he handle all the responsibility and burden that comes with his position in life as a man and vice versa as well. Naturally, there cannot be no one without the other. Life is created together as one is beautiful and a thing of power and fruitfulness 
Sila, Selassie, Ja, Rastafari, bless and sanctify, sanctify and bless. Yes, honorable family, we give thanks. Yeah, we give thanks, say, the celebration going through said way. See? Yeah, we give thanks for the coronation, the 91st coronation of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Il Selassie I, the first. And as we see upon a lot of pictures, we see a whole heap of people from all over the world come and acknowledge and not just acknowledging that this man is the king of kings and that woman is the queen of queens. They also bowed before them, bowed before them. What level of respect that is, that people, people who would normally look down on Africans is bowing before an African king and queen. Queen of England bowing before an African king and queen. So, it wasn't just some little people. It, was, it wasn't just some little primitive people that was bowing to this man or acknowledging that this man, there is something special about this man. Saying is something special about this day, the second of November, nineteen thirty. Saying that the Queen, even the Queen of England, would come and bow before the African king of kings, king over her king. He is her king because he is the king of kings. Sin, and don't get it twisted now, you know. Don't think anything funny now. Sin, when I say he is her king, of course, he is I and I king. So, but a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of our own people play a blind eye to this reality. A lot of our people outside the continent, inside the continent, do not observe this day. Do not see the significance of this day. Do not see the significance of what took place on the 2nd of November, 1930. Yeah. But if you ask them about some other people, them can tell you and them can tell you about all different prints and how much it was this and how much it was that but their own thing them play a blind eye to 
And it's only Rasta really observed that they are. Zin, it's only Rasta. Rasta people are observe the second of November nineteen thirty. Only Rasta do it. Ethiopians them not do it. The Ethiopians them not doing it. See? Only Rasta. See? And if you find an Ethiopian, I may talk about the native Ethiopian who is there now, who grew up and born on the soil and the ground of Ethiopia. I may talk about I and I who scatter out in the diaspora. See? Who say Rastafari. We are talking about Ethiopians. Most of them, they do not observe this day. Zin, for whatever reason, mm, but we steadfast and we hold firm and we keep the faith. Because I and I, we know the significance of this day. I and I, we know the significance of this day. This day probably means more to us than anyone else. Because the significance of 1930, the 2nd of November, is aligned with a thing Marcus Garvey said, a speech Marcus Garvey made. Yeah. That a king would crown. In the East of Africa, in Ethiopia. See? Yeah. And he would be the Redeemer and the God of I and I, black Ethiopian people. The black Ethiopian redeemer. So this have more significance. This have more. Mean more. To us. Out here in the diaspora. Than anywhere else. Because. Not to say. Ones in the continent. Not. Celebrating this day or observing this day. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying at the time and still up to this time, some do not observe this day and it's a reality. See? But I and I will give thanks because what? Who have eyes will see, and who have ears, they will hear. See? Yeah, this is not to force down anyone's throat. Or to, you know? No. Who have ears will hear, and who have eyes will see. Mm-hmm. Is just a reality. When I read in a John, John tell us, eh, the God King come to him people and them receive him not. Zane, Christ in his kingly character, them receive him not. And many can interpret that many ways. See? As we said, three in one, one in three. The power of the Holy Trinity. 
Saying so, I want would align this to said way with the high priest Melchizedek. The God priest. Yeah. The king priest. Come to him own and them receive him not. Receive him not. See? So I never everyone did I go accept. But there will come a time, and there have been that time. And that time have been recorded that every knee shall bow and confess. Yes, 1930. See, all the nations of the earth, 72 of them, bow and confess. That Haile Selassie is the king of kings and lord of lords. You know, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Elect of God, light of this world. Seventy-two nations bow before him and accept that. And say, yes, it is true. That is why we are here. Because that is the truth. That is the truth. So my beautiful people, know yourself, you know. Know yourself. Everyone have to find their own vine and victory. Sin. Marcus also pointed out that everyone, everyone, have to see God through their own spectacle. Everyone. See? So, my people, know yourself. Because everyone have a God and a King. And every God and King have a place. Sin? Yeah. So know yourself and know where your place is. Because everyone has to find their own vine and victory. Holy Emmanuel I, Celestia, Ja, Rastafari, bless and sanctify, sanctify and bless.